Hey guys, this is Skylar from the Sassy Q. I was just hopping on here today to show you all a weathering technique that is called feather weather using uh, sea paints. So if you could, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to get started. And um, with the sea paints, we are going to use the Secrets line, which come in little bottles like this. They are uh, more of a medium coverage than their paint, which is a full coverage. But uh, the secrets can be used in several different ways. They can be used as a stain, a highlighter, a glaze, a paint. Um, they can be used to distress like I'm doing right now. And it doesn't take much for what we're going to do. Just pour it a little bit out. Um, I'm going to start with Southern Secret here on our white. For this technique, it is called Feather Weather. So we are going to use very, very light brush strokes. Uh, your hand is going to be like light as a feather. I've got a little bit on my brush, very, very little. I dabbed most of my extra off um, because we want this to be light as a feather when we go across it. And I'm literally just going to take it and drag it across the board very, very, very lightly. And I'm barely touching the board. Just kind of letting my brush drag across it. And it creates that kind of worn, weathered look instantly. And if you want it a little bit heavier, you can always go back and add more. I always go light my first layer just in case. Because I don't want to go too heavy because it's harder to take it off than it is to add more on. But you can continue to add... Make it heavier around the edges by putting a little more pressure when you hit the edges. And there it went from, you know, being just stark white to having some depth. And move this around. Uh, for this next one, I'm going to use Beach Wash Secret. It's kind of a uh, off white. Kind of color, kind of a little darker than a cream. And what's absolutely amazing about these secrets is how quick they dry. And I'm going to show you. Let me dab some of my extra off here of my beach wash again. Very, very little. I probably still have too much on my brush. Maybe not. That was a little more wet. I'm gonna take it across here. Instantly looks weathered and is a lot less work than trying to distress it, like paint it white, paint it black, and then distress it. A lot, lot less work. Now, seeing how quickly these dry, we just painted this one. There's no paint on my hand and nothing has smeared. The secrets dry super super quick it's amazing how quick that they actually dry so when I use as a paint you can work super quick but again just going light as a feather you want to use very little product very little pressure when you're going across unless of course you want it to be more weathered you can always go heavier like I said I always start light if I wanted to go heavy, I could get a little bit more product on my brush and get a little bit more pressure. To go for a heavier, distressed look. Another thing I love doing with these is layering colors. And this brown, I used actually used one of the secrets as a stain to do that. Dry in like 90 seconds. And has no odor. Like 
normal stain does. But there's that. Let me get me a ship deck secret for my dark colors. For my dark, I should say, not my dark colors. Let me make my plate. And for these, I'm just using a regular um, chip brush, two-inch chip brush, nothing fancy. I'll put a link in the comments to uh, where to find those brushes and anything else I have. Again, just getting a little bit on the tips of my stuff. And see how there's still quite a bit of product. I'm going to still dab a lot off. This is the white I originally used with Southern Secret and I'm going to go over it with the ship deck to kind of just add like another level of depth. I'm going to do it light so I still want to be able to see some of that Southern Secret pop through. And it just instantly kind of ages the board. And since farmhouse and rustic is super in right now, this is a very easy way to achieve those rustic-y, um, weathered looks without having to put a ton of work into it. And it's a super quick thing, you know, like, we just did this. It's already dry. I'm going to layer over this one as well. And since... This one has a darker background. I am going to go just a little bit heavier with my hand so it'll show up a little bit more. See how it adds kind of like that extra layer of depth. It's not just a flat piece of wood anymore. It has depth, but it has character. And you can go either direction. I like to go with the green of the wood. And sometimes I'll go against it just to hit some different points of the wood. Um, let's see. I'm going back there. Let's see. It is a super, super easy technique. to give it a little bit of wear and tear if you wanted to go heavier you can. I just like the light. But it's something super simple and it changes the way the wood looks completely. Right here I have one I did um, the whoops, waxless wonder technique on. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, on how to do the waxless wonder with sea paints. Um, but here I have one that I, you know, I did actually like hand distress with that technique. I'm going to go over this one a little bit heavier. add some depth back into it. I just think it's a really neat technique. Um, that is, it, like I said, it's so easy. And it adds a much higher depth to the look. And like, it would make you be unique and stand out a little bit more. Because in person you can see the difference and feel the difference. Um, you can also, like you got this, and it, the lines are just too harsh. You want it a little softer. You can take some 220 grit sandpaper and very, very lightly sand over the project here. Very lightly. I'm barely putting any pressure. And I always use baby wipes to clean up my dust.
you can knock some of the harshness back down and soften it back up. Bring a little bit more of the base color back out by doing that. Like I said, it's just a super, super simple way to weather and age your wood. Um, and I used just the sea paint secrets or the sea glazes for this technique. Um, if you could, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And um, I will drop uh, links in the description below with the chip brushes, the video to the waxless wonder technique and a link to the uh, sea paints uh, webpage thank you so much for watching